Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial we explain how to correctly install and run Flux1 dev version in Comfy UI. Here is some background information for those of you who are not familiar with the whole concept of Flux and text to image generation. What you can see over here is an image that I generated only by using a text description. That is over here, you can see the text description that generates this image. Ancient Greek warrior is holding a sword and a shield, so let's see that. This is obviously an ancient Greek warrior holding a sword. Where is our sword? Here it is, and a shield. Let's continue. Then, the helmet of the Greek warrior is golden. Obviously, this is the case. There is an eagle standing on his right shoulder. Here it is. Here is an eagle standing on his right shoulder. Behind him there is an ancient Greek temple. Here is the Greek temple and far away there is sea and the mountain. So here is sea and here is the mountain. And over here I also said the mountain top is covered in snow. The sky is blue and everything is correct. And here you can see how accurate this image is. Of course, this image can be much more nicer, it can even be more realistic. However, this is just a proof of concept. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to install both this Comfy UI graphics user interface that will enable you simply to type text here and to run it. And also I will explain how to install Flux1 dev version that's backbone for generating this image. Also, I have to mention the following. In my previous tutorial, I explained how to install Flux1 Schnell version, and Flux1 Schnell version is a lightweight or lightweight version of Flux1 Dev. And what is the main difference between Flux1 Dev and Flux1 Schnell is that the license of Flux1 Dev is much more restrictive. That is, the license of this software that I will install is more restrictive than the license of Flux1 Schnell. However, you can install both of them and you can also use Flux1 Dev if you don't plan to use it for commercial purposes. Okay, let's start. This is the installation procedure. First of all, we will need to install Comfy UI. Then we will need to download all the Flux1 files, that is, we will have to download save tensors, VAE files, and other files, and copy them to the appropriate Comfy UI folders. Then we will need to set up the Comfy UI workflow, and finally, we will be able to run the model. But before I start with explanations, I need to mention the following. I'm running the model on my two-year-old desktop computer with an Intel multi-core processor and with 48GB RAM. The GPU is NVIDIA 3090 with 24GB VRAM. Note that it's advised to have at least 32GB RAM. However, you can also run Flux1 Dev with lower precision models on a computer with less RAM. I did not test the installation on GPUs that are less powerful than NVIDIA 3090 and and that have less VRAM memory. It should be useful for other viewers to write your experiences of running Flux1 Dev and Comfy UI on your computer. You can leave a comment in the comment section below and you can describe your configuration. Also, I will provide a link to, in the description below this video to all the files that you need to download and, and that I'm downloading in this video tutorial. The first step is to install Comfy UI. For that purpose, we need to go to the official release GitHub web page. That is, we need to go to this address. And over here, we need to find a proper file. Here, you need to find the recent file that has the extension 7z and you need to download it. To download it, simply click on the file and the download process should start. Here it is. And now this file is around 1.5 gigabytes, so be patient. And it's going to take around maybe one or two minutes to download this file. Meanwhile, while this file is downloading, you also need to download and install 7-zip. Consequently, you need to go to this website. This is the official website of 7-zip. And you need to download this file. So click here and the download process will start. 
so be patient over here. Now both files are being downloaded. And here's the 7-zip file. Wait until the first file is downloaded and then we will install 7-zip. Now that the download process is completed, we can continue with installation procedure. All the files are actually in the downloads folder. So you can either click here and go to the download folders or you can go through the regular path by opening the explorer and clicking over here. The first step is to install 7-zip file. So let's do this. Let's run as administrator and let's install this file. Click on install and 7-zip will be installed. And now you can use it. Click on this file, then do the right click and click 7-zip and click over here, extract here, and this will extract everything. Now, if this process is slow, that is if it takes long time to extract this file, most likely the issue is with your antivirus software. And in my case, this is actually not happening. However, on my other computer, I had an issue with my antivirus because antivirus was actually scanning every file and that was creating an issue. So if you experience this problem, simply disable your antivirus for several minutes until you download this file. Okay, so here is the downloaded and extracted file and let's continue. Now, what I will do over here, I will simply copy the complete folder and I will go somewhere on my C drive or, or, your, or go to your D drive and simply paste the folder. And we will continue from here. Okay. The next step is to verify the installation of Comfy UI by running this file. So double click here and as you can see over here, this file is executed and here we are. Comfy UI automatically opens in your web browser. And over here, you can see the workflow, that is, you can see the block diagrams that implement everything. However, we still cannot run this since we didn't download all the files. So let's close this and let's continue. Over here, it's worth mentioning that after you close the main browser window running Comfy UI, it's also very important to close this command prompt. If you don't do that, next time you start Comfy UI, you might have issues. So make sure that you close this such that you can run Comfy UI once more. Process. The next step is to go to this Hugging Face website and to download these two files. So let's do that. So I will simply copy this link. I will open my web browser and I will go to this repository and I need to download this file as well as this file. So let's do that. First of all, click here. The download process will start. Then click here. Then again, you will start downloading the second file. Note over here that the second file is around 9 gigabytes. So it might take even 10 minutes to download this file. Now, what's the difference between this file and this file? This file over here is a lightweight version of this save tensors file namely you can see in the original file we'll have we have float 16 precision and over here we have float 8 precision that is the second file actually is low precision model and this model will work on computers with less than 32 gigabytes of RAM. So consequently, if you have a computer that has less memory, instead of downloading this file, FP16, you can download this FP8 save tensors file. Okay, so let's wait until the download process is completed and let's be patient. After the download process is completed, we need to copy these two files to the appropriate folders. Consequently, select both files and press Control C to copy them. Then let's go to C, let's go to our base folder, here it is. Let's click here, let's click on Models folder and over here we need to copy these two files to this clip folder. Click here and paste both, both files or just simply copy them here. Okay, good, let's continue. The next step is to download VAE and Flux1 dev model files from the official Hugging Face repository of Flux1 dev. Consequently, copy this address in your web browser and let's go 
to this repository and over here you need to agree to the terms and to the license so click over here on login if you already have an account with hugging face or if you don't have an account with a hugging face simply sign up sign up is free so click here on login if you have an account and I'm going to enter my password my email address and my password and I'm going to log in and over here I'm going to agree and I will be able to access this repository then you need to click here on files and versions and you need to download two files first of all you need to download this AE safe tensors VAE file so click here to download and the download process will start and then you need to download this flux one dev safe tensors file this file is around 24 gigabyte and it will it might take even 15 minutes to download the file so let's click over here to download the file and let's be patient and wait this will take some time I can see that all, almost the first file is downloaded, the save tensors file, and I need to wait for the second file. After the download process is completed, we need to copy the file to the appropriate folders. First of all, we need to copy this AE save tensors to this folder. So let's do that. So copy it, control C, then go to the base folder of ConfiUI then go to this folder, then go to models folder, then over here paste the file. Okay, next we need to copy another file, that is we need to copy this file and this destination should be in models unit folder. So let's copy, then again let's go to the base folder, confui, let's go to models and here we need to copy to this folder okay this is the correct path make sure that this path is correct good almost there know that this file is around 24 gigabyte next we need to start confi ui however before you do that make sure that the command prompt that was used to start the previous instance of Confi UI is not running that is if it's running just close it otherwise you will have problems okay so let's continue by double clicking here and this should start Confi UI in our web browser okay the next step is to configure Confi UI let's learn how to do that to configure Confi UI you need to go to this website over here let me open a new browser and you should do the same thing and you will configure Confi UI by doing one trick and this is a very elegant solution first of all make sure that in the same screen you can see Confi UI and you can see this screen and then what you need to do you simply need to go to this flux dev section on this website and over here you simply need to find flux dev section and what you need to do you can simply drag and drop this image over here and this will configure the Confi UI with the dev version and that's it and over here you can see the test image cute tiny girl with massive fluffy fennec ears and let's run this to verify that we were able to properly download the file place them in correct folders and configure confi ui so let's just run here q prompt and let's see what happens now over here you can see that the thing is running now this will take some time since i'm running this on 48 gigabyte of ram and so let's see in real time what's happening let's open task manager and let's see the memory consumption just in case to be able to track everything you can see that GPU is actually being consumed CPU memory let's see about the RAM memory okay so we are running here and we are requesting load flux and the first time you actually run the model this will take some time however next time it's going to be much faster however let's see and let's wait in my case it took around 86 seconds to execute this prompt and here it is 
looks perfect. This is truly amazing. Okay, let's do our own tests right now. Over here, we can change this text and we can enter our own text. Next, let's try to execute our own customly defined text. Here it is. Ancient Greek warrior is holding a sword and a shield. The helmet of the Greek warrior is golden. There is an eagle standing on his right shoulder. Behind him, there is an ancient Greek temple and far away, there is sea and the mountain. The mountain top is covered in snow. The sky is blue. So let's execute this prompt by clicking here and let's be patient. Let's see what's happening behind the scene. The model is being loaded. And let's see over here the memory consumption. CPU and GPU. You can see that we are basically using most of our GPU memory, 24 gigabyte. If you have a GPU with more memory, then this will take, this will be actually much faster. So let's see. Okay, so it took around, let's see, 34 seconds, 35 seconds, not bad, and let's see the result. Okay, so here is the result. The result really looks amazing. So this is obviously a Greek warrior, and you can see over here eagle. He's definitely, his helmet is golden, and there is a temple. We can see that there is a mountain top with sea, with actually snow, and there is sea behind. This is a very beautiful photo. Okay, that's all for today, and thanks for watching. And don't forget to press the like and subscribe buttons. Have a nice day.